Well, this is a different angle. Come on, Jess. Come on up. There we go. So, on Meerkat Rambles, you know I do vlogs and shit, but, you know, the video I done about YouTube situation was just a rage-filled rant. And it was mainly being annoyed about the YouTube situation, but with no actual insight about the YouTube situation. So, let's talk YouTube! Thank you, Jasper. For fuck's sake. So, anyway. Let's just talk about why YouTube failed and then talk about how it failed later. So, YouTube made its money from advertisers. The only reason why advertisers advertised was because there was a lot of viewership. And the only reason why there was a lot of viewership was because people made a lot of content. People only made a lot of content as opposed to like normal amounts like what smaller channels normally create as hobbies because well, they earn enough money to make it a job. And how did they make that money? Through advertisers. Holy shit. So it's a little self-fulfilling cycle. The more ad the more people go to the site, the more ad the more views that the creators get. And the creators get money from those views through advertisers who are advertising to the viewers. So for a site like YouTube or even traditional media like TV, newspapers, radio, yeah, you're going to have to maintain that little cycle, such as say Comedy Central. Comedy Central were dying before they got South Park. All they done was rerun shows which could be seen on other networks. South Park came along because of its great writing and even though it was fucking edgy and dark and overly inappropriate, who cared? Because it got a lot of views because people liked the show and because it got a lot of views the network was able to charge a lot for its advertising slots or at least enough to stay in business and then later expand. And, you know, let's look at what YouTube did to try and get bigger. Basically, they just kept on appealing to advertisers and trying to get more money. Like, you know, YouTube Red original shows, if only they were in fucking England. And then of course there was just a... Uh... Oh yeah, and that the first thing was the copyright claim. Because, you know, DMCA, it was a part of the law, fair enough. Well, it is still a part of law, but still. It was the law, they had to have it. An easy way to take down infringing videos because they didn't and then of course they added the appeal system which puts the the responsibility of the video off YouTube and onto the person so if the per, so even if it did reach lawsuit levels it's not YouTube's responsibility because they themselves didn't appeal the strike the person who made the video did and they claimed ownership of that video so they own the video so if you want to sue anyone you sue the owner fair enough but then there's just the whole thing of appealing to advertisers advertisers want their stuff to be more appealable like one piece of the puzzle is family friendly. Not because, you know, it makes their image look squeaky clean. We'll get into that a bit. But it's because children are more likely to watch family friendly content. 
parents are more likely to watch family friendly content. Literally everyone is more likely to watch family friendly content because it's friendly in that. And of course, you're gonna... If a show is very opinionated, says a lot of controversial stuff, talks about controversial topics, then you're going to have a more logically thinking audience while with children you're literally talking to fucking kids. Kids are just going to say Oh they're Transformers! I want them mummy and daddy! Or you know if a parent is watching then they're going to see an ad for say fucking McDonald's and then or Burber Burger King, yes, no, Burger King, or literally any business, you know, not even one which I work at, and so I said Burger King, trying to keep our shit, <laughs> anyway, so, with, say, any restaurant and that, you get a Wendy's advert, and it's like, oh, that, Oh, they have this new meal, I wonder what it takes, I'll take my kids there. But then, let's say you, you're you watching someone do a video of, say, Game Theory, Ness's Sands for some reason. You're... No, not even that, because, you know, that's stupid. I know. You're watching some weeaboo analysis video. You want to be logically thinking. You're into that fan base. You're going to look at a an advert for GoDaddy and you're going to say, I don't need a fucking website. Skip. You know, all of these adverts appearing on the site and you don't care about them. Grammarly. Who cares? There's autocorrect on the fucking computers already. Go Daddy or Wix. Okay, I don't need a site. The only person who's probably going to benefit that is the YouTuber when the website shuts down. And, you know, stuff like that. People don't really pay attention to ads. And then, of course, there's just the whole thing of having a nicer looking image. So people like the Wall Street Journal can't be pricks and pop the balloon like a needle. Like, you know. Yeah. Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about where YouTube went wrong. YouTube focused too much on the corporations. Corporations go where the money is. It doesn't break... It doesn't build brand loyalty. They were made to keep... And even after Wall Street Journal pretty much exposed all of these advertisers and made many, many, many back out. Even Pepsi, who made their own stupid controversial shit. You know, back out YouTube to avoid those racist videos. Now let's profit off of fucking riot. We're geniuses! Bloody Pepsi! For fuck's sake! <laughs> that's like meme levels of fucking stupidity. Anyway. So, with that... Yeah. That's basically how the site just... Uh, yeah, but because... Companies go where the money is, and the only reason why people, and well, since the exposure is bringing them negative press, they're going, we're not with YouTube, ignore the Wall Street Journal, we are not here, so they don't get the bad publicity like what Pepsi did when they done their riot video and then yeah yeah now there's less adverts on the site and what did YouTube do? no wait we can make it better look in look we have demonetization 
look, we've made it easier to monetize on family friendly videos. Look, we've done all of this stuff and even when the site was trying to make more money, they done the demonetization. Before everything went to shit, they were doing the demonetization thing. And well, that pissed off a lot of people and they they've done a lot of stupid changes from you know making like you know just changing the algorithms to increase viewership and view time so they can get more ad plays on each video and then of course there's just even pissing off the general users by fucking up the notification system of their own basic site. Google notifications are now shit because they wanted more money. They've purposely fucked up their own notification system along with other things so they could make more money. And, well, that pissed off users as well. And then, yeah. Now, and... Of course, even if the advertisers did pull out before, everyone would be suffering. But right now, it's only the majority of people who are suffering. People who make kid-friendly content, like Minecraft videos, like I know that fucking Hermitcraft is still going strong, and literally every other Minecraft channel. Like, and then of course, the toy channels are fine. Those cheap, shitty kids' flash animations are doing fine. The game theory is still doing fine. Literally everything is still doing fine which is kid-friendly. But anything which has swearing in, has, has a little bit of edginess, or talks about sensitive topics, even if it's in a respectful manner, it's like... Oh no, kids aren't gonna watch that. Let's take the money away from that and give them to them. Like, even with decreased ads, everyone suffered. But certain channels are suffering a lot less than the vast majority of them. And well, because people know what's happening, people are getting pissed off. And of course, because... Because the vast majority of YouTube users watch this inappropriate content, more views are going to demonetize videos than actual monetized videos. Meaning that, you know, they're making less money. Because they're not monetizing on those videos. And because people know that they're not getting the fair slice of cake and because I know, let's say cool dude, like literally the intro to their video about about piss taking the being child friendly thing is oh hey, you know, you know the videos which I've been paying my fucking rent with for the past five years? I made 20 quid off my last one even though it's doing the same thing. YouTube 2017 everyone. Going from being able to pay your bills to getting chill to getting a month's worth of pocket money. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking YouTube man. And then of course with that, yeah. Just a lot of channels are suffering. And wow, well, because of that that and well because the users were pissed off and the only thing which made them stick around was the fact that they could make a living off of it because the advertisers back out the creators don't have enough money to keep on creating and because Google kept on fucking them over they have no respect for the site so they're jumping shit Going over to Vidme, going over to Twitch, going over to Facebook, literally evacuating the fucking site, getting normal jobs because they can no longer support themselves anymore. 
all of that because that square is really distracting. All of this because Google focused more on the people giving them money than the people who were earning the, the money for them. And now, because more content creators can't make a living off of YouTube, that's less content going to YouTube. And if there's less content going to YouTube, then that's less stuff for YouTube's audience to watch. And, well, if there's less thing to watch, less people are going to watch. Less viewers are going to be there. So, more viewers hop over to the sites that their creators are going on or just try to find different sites because their favourite site is now dead. So, so creators either hop over to VidMe, open up Patreons, or stop creating content in general. Two of those things reduce your viewership, YouTube. I don't even know why I'm directly addressing them, like they're not going to see this. Anyway, so with that, yeah, it's just... Liz, if you ever own any kind of company or anything, you have to keep in mind that even though it's the advertisers and the sponsors who directly give you money, the reason why they give you money is because, is because you have an audience. And the only reason why you have an audience is because the content that is put on there. You fuck with the people who make the content, they stop making the content. And when people stop making the content, the viewers stop viewing that content. And when there's no more viewers to view that content, there's no more advertisers to advertise on that content. And no more advertisers advertising on that content means no more money. YouTube. Everyone. If you own any kind of media company, treat your creators well. Because your creators are the reason why you have your audience. And your audience is the reason why advertisers give you money. Creators are entirely underpaid in just the creation industry. You hear about artist abuse, you hear about writers being promised exposure, you hear about just musicians going through record labels and then the record labels taking most of that money. Like, and then of course with just video game coders, they are severely underpaid because they're entire teams. And most of the money goes to the higher ups in the company who do fuck all. Well, no, they manage the, tra the treasure in terms of, if you ask CP Grey, like, you know, they manage the budget, but like, is managing the budget really worthy of that much money? Or is doing the thing which makes people give you money the more important thing? Wow, only one of them gives you money. One of them, but both of them, can affect how it's used. Because... If you're not making money, you have to stop spending. And that's the end. I'm hoping t this or the next weekend, I'm hoping to film multiple sketches. I'm hoping that if the fucking program loads, that I can do the sound file of the synopsis video. So, plans for the future.
Vidme accounts. Multiple accounts. I'm gonna do what I was planning to do with the YouTube accounts over on Vidme. Sonic Meerkat, Meerkat Rambles, Meerkat Gaming, Meerkat Goes Fox Himself. No, that's on Pornhub. <laughs> oh, no, but... Yeah. I wanna do that. Another thing is a Patreon. Because I want to make high quality content. I want to pay into the channel in order to make better content. Even if like only one person adds money to it, it's like one pound a month. I can pay someone to make a song. I could pay someone to voice act in something. Maybe if I make a thousand, I will pay Tomska to do a sketch with me. That's never gonna happen. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. I will be hopping over to Vidme. I will not stop uploading to YouTube until YouTube stops being a thing. I like the community of YouTube. I like the people on it, but the people who are running it can go fucking fuck themselves up the arsehole. They can go die for all I care. And, well, it's a good thing that I don't actually monetize. Because, boy, imagine Wall Street Journal, Sonic Meerkat tells advertisers to go fuck themselves. No, advertisers advertise on this faggot's video about telling people to go fuck themselves while swearing profu profusely. Yeah. I am advertiser friendly. If I ever get a sponsorship, it will be a fun time. <laughs> eh. Hello, Dow. Yeah, no. Any last words? This might be your 